Hello everybody, it is me, the Prince of FNAF. Welcome back to another spooky Halloween review. And today, we're going to be having a look at this Catwoman figure. Very similar to the one we looked at last time, when I had my rant about how women like to dress up as sexy things for Halloween. And I phrased that wrong, so any of you women who were offended, what I meant to say was a lot of women like to dress up as Catwoman. That's not every girl I know, but certainly a lot of women like to dress up as Catwoman. There's nothing wrong with that, but uh, that's what I meant to say. I didn't mean to offend any of you girls out there who watch my videos, but yeah, we're going to have a look at this 1966 Catwoman figure. Very similar to, like I said, the one I reviewed, but without further ado, let's roll the intro and get this spooky Halloween review started. <laughs> So I'm having her laid down here, so you can really see how shiny she is, um, which is really cool. I would have liked to seen some glitter, however, who, whoever made this. I don't know what company actually made this. I think it's just an off-brand company. But I would have liked to see some glitter, you know, embedded into the rubber mold, but whatever. This is basically just a basic version of that same 1966 Catwoman that we looked at from the wacky wobblers series this catwoman however does look way younger than the one in the show she does have that really nice cute little curl and the cute little uh bunny ears which i'm assuming are attached to a headband or at least yeah probably yeah they're attached to her mask as well conceal that identity much like some of the other superheroes from the classic times where you they would wear a lot of these sort of face mask, masquerade mask, which is pretty cool. That's just how classic this uh, television series was. You can clearly see this split right here where it goes from just being the latex cat suit to actually being the gloves, which I thought were pretty cool. And uh, you can see some breathing holes right there. Pretty cool. Uh, you can see those classic 90s boots, fashion fashionable for that era, I guess. Um, you can see the belt is also crudely painted on, much like the medallion. Um, yeah, not a lot of paint as it goes through here. Not a lot of paint detail, mainly because of the, you know, needs to pose in all sorts of positions. If you want to twist Catwoman way out of shape and make her contortionist, uh, if you enjoy doing that to Catwoman, I guess. But without further ado, I'm going to pause this and we're going to do some size comparisons. So... Stay tuned. So here is our bendy, I'm just going to say bendy um, Catwoman next to our Lego Catwoman. Same, same version of Catwoman, the uh, 1966 television series Catwoman. Pretty cool. One of the only Catwomans from the 1966 of, that I have, of course, that actually is complete with her whip. I don't think she had in the television series. I'm not sure. I haven't watched it. Let me know, though, guys, in the comments. Here she is next to the Wacky Wobblers Catwoman. Let's move her aside so we can get some room. Here she is next to the Wacky Wobblers Catwoman. Pretty cool. Of course, the Wacky Wobblers is much more detailed, so it makes this bendable Catwoman look less, you know, cool. But it is a cool thing, I guess, you could have in your office. Uh, for a stress toy or something, bend the crap out of Catwoman. Poor girl. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and it's also a nice callback to those of you from the 90s. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review of this bendable Catwoman. Uh, I'll see you guys in the future for some more scary or maybe even cute like Catwoman here. Some interesting Halloween reviews for the future. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next spectacular. Halloween review. Happy haunts and do take care.